to uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Yeah. And uh, we are live, Gene. Oh. On Facebook with the yeah. music. Yeah. Good music. Oh, I'm with speaking with of good music. I'm going to see uh, Kiss. Kiss. I'm finally seeing Kiss. And uh, Super Dave. Super Dave, uh, David Lee Roth. David oh. Lee Roth is, can you imagine he's opening for Kiss? Oof. I thought you I thought you were gonna say David Lee. Uh, I'm sorry, David Super Dave. Oh, Super Dave's so awesome. Super Dave Osborne. Oh my gosh, wasn't he great? Mm. He died too young. He had prostate cancer. Yeah, I think. He's dead, right? Yeah, uh, he died a year ago or so. But yeah, uh, Kiss. I I'm I don't care that much about Kiss, but yeah, I don't know. See him one time, <laughs> I guess. What the Before hell? they're all dead. Yeah, this is. I think it's called the end of the world. Uh, <coughs> maybe. I don't know. One of these times, they're not going to be joking around when they say it's their farewell tour. Hello. Well, uh, did oh, I actually watched because of David. I did. By the way, I watched my first Cubs game today because it was on. Oh, they played the Angels, so it's on TV. So great, and the Cubs won. So I think that means they're going to win the World Series. Okay, good signs. Yeah. Good signs. What the did uh, Trout did he did he play? Uh yeah, I'm not sure. I wasn't paying that much attention there, to it. There was this video of him like hitting a drive. From oh a, yeah, uh, the golf. I did see that. What? I, I don't understand. What's the big deal? He 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 had a nice golf shot. Yeah. Like what? What's the big deal? Because he's so talented. Uh, can, um, he's nobody's ever been like him. By the way, let's see him do that in Augusta. Huh? Yeah. On uh, Augusta. I like to take my chances with Augusta. How it's, you you'd probably do okay. It would be fun. Yeah. I could only do the part. Anyone, three. Hey, listen, Gene. Anyone can hit a nice drive at a uh, fake golf range with nets. Yeah, I've actually uh, done that. I've done that. Yeah, we're, we're, no one, no one has a video of you doing that. No, S -s sharing it, spreading no. it around. No, I, I where's the justice? I know, but anyway, and and Joe, it was Joe Mann versus the Cubs today. So oh that's yeah, pretty was it? Cool. Was it? Oh, it was like in Arizona, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, all the Cub players talked to uh, Joe Madden. It was pretty cool because Joe Madden, oh, his restaurant, I don't know if you mentioned this last time, but his restaurant closed in, in Wrigleyville. It's right next to Wrigley Field. And he opened it last summer. I was like, w w everyone's thinking, why are you opening a restaurant when you're going to get fired in two months? And, uh, uh, oh, guess what? They went out of business. Well, maybe he was uh, planning to burn it all down for the insurance money. Right. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what he did. I'll have to see when I'm there in April. I'll see you in April. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Any uh, any Iowa wrestling yes. news? Yes. This is so exciting. Uh, by the way, the Badgers are back in the top 25 in basketball. So is Iowa. So is Illinois. So good for the Big Ten. Uh, the Big Ten championships are this weekend, and Iowa is undefeated and ranked number one. And wow, I'm very excited. And in the Big Ten Network's going to cover four hours of it on Sunday. That is my Augusta. Right there. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we know Gene's I, I'm plan. Yeah, I'd rather watch uh, wrestling than, oh boy, almost anything. Than uh, certain uh, leagues like the NBA, the NHL. Yeah, oh, definitely that. And uh, XFL. I think I'm <laughs> out on the XFL. I gave it a. Um, I, uh, yeah. We are, uh, we have uh, oh, a yeah. question. Are we at an airport? We have Where a question we? from the uh, audience, uh, from the live show. Mm. Where are we? We are actually located in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Oh, wow. Is that the background? Where's we, the river? We are the top of uh, Granddad's Bluff. Granddad's Bluff? The highest point in La Crosse, Wisconsin, that way, Gene. Oh, is that what a lot of grandkids were uh, conceived there? Uh, is that one of those Luca? It's very know. possible. It's actually a spot where a lot of people kill themselves too. It's uh, oh, not it's La Crosse is uh, Golden Gate Bridge, basically. Uh, we have one of those too in Dubuque. Right? In fact, I think I think they put in a sign that says "Don't kill yourself. Your yeah. life means something." Oh wow! I, yeah. I don't know if it worked. I don't know if seeing a plaque. Oh, so Grant, what are we looking? I don't know if seeing a plaque uh, <laughs> screwed into a rock is gonna uh, make you feel up, better about your yeah, life. Because. Uh, on Santa Monica Boulevard and uh, Westwood in LA out here, they have a they have a billboard. They have a billboard. Oh, it's g well. I'll tell you this: they have a billboard that counts how many smoking deaths, and it keeps going. It, it, so is that yeah, what it's and that's been around there forever, and, right? Yeah, forever. I don't even know if it's accurate, but I'm not on that billboard because uh, 
I'd celebrate. I made it through another year without smoking. So good. All yeah, right. Well, 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 we'll talk about you for a second here, Jay. Let's talk about this billboard for a while, because uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I just realized I had a lot of takes about this billboard. Yeah. This, uh, listen, I used to uh, work in Westwood, and right, uh, right. this is like 10 years ago. It's still there. And this there. thing was still it's there. In the same, I don't know who pays for it. Yeah, it says it, it says smoking deaths, and then and then there's a number, and it like changes. Yeah, it's second. like that debt clock that's in yeah. New York or something like that, or maybe it's Washington. Um, yeah, the uh, I'm sure the price of uh, advertising in West Hollywood probably has gone up. Oh my god! So yeah. are those people also? Uh, I don't know. Is that, there do they have a perpetual license? I don't. How there? can they afford? That's prime billboard real estate, so I don't know how they pull that off, and and. I, Who's keeping track of these? Yeah, and, and are the numbers slowing down because I, less I people? I think so. Who's smoking in here? It seems like people don't smoke. I, I, don't I know they have it like uh, calculated, like you know, hundred people every minute or something like that. Right. Well, what what when is that statistic from? Nineteen seventy three. Yeah, where'd they come up with that? I know. And uh, right. has anyone asked questions about this? I. I well, has I'm anyone brought right this now. up? Yeah. <laughs> And, and how about this? Uh, right by where you live, I'm sure you saw it. I just noticed it today. Uh, they have a new b- billboard of Angeline. And Angeline, I've oh, seen her many times in person. Uh, she's about 75 years old. Yeah. I it, Not really a role model, I think. You'd want but your five-year-old to uh, <coughs> model herself after. Cr- crazy right, chick with right. lots of uh, plastic surgery, always drives a pink Corvette. I, yeah, yeah, and she still has a pink Corvette, and she drives but, around LA. How is she making money? I don't know. She's got a sugar daddy. Probably Not a, that woman can't make her own money. For prob- sure. She's probably like an heiress or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, Gene, it uh, was your birthday. Yeah, fantastic. Last week. You didn't even mention it before oh the show. Oh, my gosh. You know what I did? Have, I, to, have to let Facebook let me know. I went. Oh, sorry about that. I actually went to uh, Walmart. And oh, yeah. There are no Walmarts in L.A. because of uh, political reasons, but there's one in Burbank. So I went there. And you're like, I'm going to buy whatever I want. That's right. A- anything in the store. And you went straight to the sports apparel. <laughs> and you're like, where are the new Cubby uh, oh, sweats? God. I have my Cubby sweatshirt up. I, yeah, I'm a new, kind of new. Uh, it's kind of dark. I bought... Uh, Another TV. I have two. When you have cable, you can have multiple TVs. Did you know that? You mean when you don't have cable? <coughs> when or you don't. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't have. You don't need a box. You don't need to pay $10 a month for a box. <coughs> so. <laughs> I, have, yeah, I know. Talk all this coronavirus. And I cop, no, I just stick on my throat. Hey, hey, uh, hey, Chris, how'd you get the coronavirus? Ah, <laughs> uh, my podcast host, co-host. Sorry. Like, what? Uh, Oh, yeah, I cut the cord, and now I have Wi-Fi, and I have two TVs, so you can watch the Cubs on one game and then uh, something on the other. And Gene, get, uh, you know, spend $13, get an antenna, and uh, you got all the, you got like 100 local channels because there's like, uh, you know, there's like, f- you know, the big three. Yeah. And then there's like a, like 1,000 uh, Spanish-speaking channels and I, Korean channels. I am, I'm all You probably have more channels now than you did with Time Warner. I know. I think I do. It's such a ripoff. Uh, it's Time Warner, which turned into Spectrum. That now, hey, guess what? I can no longer watch the Dodgers. Oh, I'll be okay because you know what? I get to watch a Big Ten Network. <laughs> that may, oh, I, in your face. Uh, that that is worth it by itself. Just being able to watch. Oh, the other day. In your this, face, Magic oh, Johnson. Today I was watching Big Ten swimming championships, and then uh, a couple days ago I was watching Iowa women's basketball. Take that. Gene, you are happier than a pig in yeah. the shit. I wa- when in doubt, oh, I watch in all the Iowa, Iowa ba- sports shit. Yeah, I watch all the Iowa basketball games that they're usually on, and then I- Iowa wrestling's always on. So that's fantastic. All right, gee, we need okay, so we're at w- we need to cut a promo right with you uh, speaking about the praises of. Uh, I love the Big, the Big Ten Network because <laughs> the, the, a lot of cable companies, well, out here they don't they don't carry the Big Ten Network, but now that I've, I found them. The cord. Yeah. Yep. All right. You got the two TVs. Yeah, you gotta get multiple. I'm all set. Oh. Two TVs uh, is the way to go when it comes to sports. I- yeah. Yep. So what? You gonna say something? Oh, uh, we're on Granddad's Bluff. Yeah, Granddad's Bluff, across Wisconsin. That is right. 
Um, beautiful, beautiful sight. Can you see? So the river, by the way, the river is like it's that away. Oh, I see. So we are looking river. west. So that's yeah. that's west, which is that way. Wait, wait, no, mm. it's that way. If we turn around, that's so this is east. Right. That's oh, oh. sorry, no, that's north, Ben. That's this south. This way's the uh, Pacific Ocean. No, 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 that, that way is that Pacific. Way's the Pacific. No, but that's north, Wisconsin, oh, okay. the Northern uh, Lights. Oh, I see. We're we're not. Which in we have here. like right here. Right. Where I forgot where. By the way, Wisconsin. watch the show on YouTube. Yeah. And Facebook. There you go. Then we'll then we'll you quit. Can uh, quit your listening. Okay. Let's get the Facebook numbers All up. All right. So what happened with the Brewers? Oh, they well, ran out of money. <laughs> Gene, you want to talk about the uh, stories of the week? Is that? Uh, oh yeah. No Brewers finance. Well, you're, you're, you're done. They, you're done with uh, bullshit? Oh, no. I was thinking, did they run out of money? You're done with the first segment? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I saw Welcome to Margaritaville All last right. night. Great. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett. Right. No, nah, Gene, we'll move on. We'll move on. Oh. Um, all, all right, Gene. I, well, Gene, we're going to lead the show this week. Mm, Brewers? With a story about last week that we discussed. Right, right. Remember uh, the Milwaukee Brewers released a study wow. saying about like how they uh, yeah, added yeah. all this money to uh, Milwaukee, right, right, the, uh, you know the state and oh, all yeah, this stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, they, yeah, with their stadium, sure. Well, and uh, Gene, I think both of us knew it was just a matter of time until someone debunked the whole paper, mm. and uh, someone did. Uh oh. And uh, I read this. Do not uh, remember the guy's name or the website, but uh, basically he's a uh, stat nerd. Okay. And uh, basically what he says that uh, the fact that they, they, they took 20 years mm. and uh, the fact you can't like you, you can't measure, you know, like a Im financial impact like the Milwaukee Brewers over a 20 year span. The fact that uh, they left it so wide open, oh. uh, they're able to uh, jaw generalities. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, and he also said uh, they take a lot of credit for spending in Milwaukee. Okay, all right. Um, that probably is not because you know he used an example. If you're from Chicago and you're coming up to Milwaukee, right, which you is go, only ninety miles away, you go to the game, and you spend money at Brewer, you know, Stadium at uh, Miller Park. Yep. And then you leave and you go home. You're not. You're not. You know. You don't go downtown and start. Uh, oh, I sp see. You know, spending money on Water Street. Right. You leave. You get the fuck out. Right. You know, if you're in Eau Claire, get the f out of here. <laughs> Don't lie. If you're from Eau Claire, Gene, yeah, you ain't. Uh, listen, Gene, I know a lot of people from Eau Claire. Yeah, you, great place. You ain't spending the night. You're going back to Eau Claire. Yeah. You're like uh, six seventy five, six dollars seventy five five cent beers. Yeah. I I gotta go home. I can't spend a uh, hundred and twenty dollars on a hotel room. Mm. I gotta get back. Um, and then also, so we're talking about like also like spending and revenue and all that stuff. Yeah, so, right. uh, so their payroll was $150 million, uh, this year or last year, but their revenue is $300 million. Wow. So, uh, you know, when you say, uh, you know, we're losing money, what are you doing with that 150? These guys are so creative and they're so sneaky what they do. Ah, you can't trust them. I don't even know if I can trust the Cubs because the Cubs are kind of the same way. Oh, we got to get an electric, whatever, all this stuff. We got to get an electrician? We're, we're over budget on the renovations and stuff. So, yeah. So, uh, we can't, we're not going to be able to keep uh, Chris Bryant? Is yes. That? Wow. Oh, my God. We're, we're I, short 10 bucks. I, now I, oh, I hope they keep him because I think he's going to be so good this year. Mm. All right. And then I'll just uh, read the conclusion here. Uh, so, and also he was talking about like basically the, uh, the the revenue of the Milwaukee area is like a hundred billion dollars, like a year or something like that, and uh, ju they're trying to say that they add two point five hmm. billion to the economy, which is a small, small slice. So it's like, okay, even if these guys are adding to the economy, it's such a small little piece. Should we be, uh, you know, paying for these stadiums and these renovations and stuff? Uh, no. Uh, so, quote, the report serves as a reminder that the people who support their, these enterprises won't let good data or good economic assumptions get in their way of their goals for allocating resources to the products, which ought to leave tax-paying baseball fans to ask, why, why are we going to bat for billionaires that run a, a minute, a minuscule oh. industry? Basically yeah. saying uh, these, these baseball clubs, these are, these are hobbies. I mean, th these are not important. However, he also does make the argument, too, 
maybe you do think that we should, uh, you know, Brewers having the Brewers is a good thing. You know, having the Cubs, you you know, I, 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 you'd probably say it's a net positive, right? Yeah. Having a baseball team like the Chicago oh, Cubs. Oh, it's awesome. What would Wrigleyville be without the Cubs? I mean, they, they, the Cubs support this whole Wrigleyville. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, B- bunch of a uh, bunch of rich people that probably don't live there well, and uh, uh, rent out their uh, the, spots the for re- restaurants. All the restaurants and bars. I mean, how do they do business? It's because when the Cubs are playing. Yeah, let's let's think of the little people, okay? I'm all about the little person, like Joe I Madden. Be one. Yeah, Joe Madden's so great. See, his restaurant couldn't sustain itself because uh, he wasn't tied to the Cubs. Mm-hmm. I'm with you though. All right. Um, somehow my uh, <laughs> my notes was uh just deleted here, so I don't oh. know what's up with that. But uh, anyways, Gene. Um, all right. What's the next story? All right. So anyways, oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, t- what? Oh, T wolves. They got. Oh yeah. Uh, that. Who the hell cares? Well, I do. All right. T wolves. Play your. I. I but they, they find that – let's see them find a big team. Oops. Right? All right. Well, let's uh, – let me just uh, read the story here. Oh, okay. Oh, look at you. Multitasking. All right. Yep. So uh, if, if you don't know what we're talking well, – by the way, we're talking about hoops right now, Gene. Yeah. You and I were, were I, both – I was talking – that's what I was talking the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're both – you know, you, everyone knows that we're both uh, very big uh, hoops fan. Uh, Iowa basketball. <laughs> Win, men and women. I like yep, them amateur sports. Right, right. Um, well, the NBA fined the Minnesota Timberwolves $25,000 Thursday for violating the league's player resting policy. Right. Marking the first time the league has enforced the uh, load management rules in, uh, since uh, – actually, I guess it's the first time it's ever been uh, yeah. blah, blah, blah. so weak to do it with the um, Timberwolves. Wow. Well, that's my point, Gene. Uh, yeah. They're playing the uh, the Denver Nuggets. Um, can you name a player? First of all, can you name the player that sat out? I know it was D'Angelo Russell. Okay. I, I do, do you, I, have you heard of that guy's name ever before? Because I haven't. Uh, no, I did. I did. He played at Ohio State. He had a bunch know. of big songs in the uh, he, 90s, right? D'Angelo? Yeah. He, where he was naked in the shower? That's, that's D'Angelo, right? right? That's the same. He, he played for the Lakers, and Lakers trade him to Brooklyn, and then Brooklyn trade him to Golden State, and Golden State... He's only 23 years old, I think. And he's been on 10 teams? Yeah, four, five, four, a lot. Yeah, I, I want to see that guy. Yeah, that's the yeah, guy let's... we're bitching about. Yet all these superstar players do it, and uh, you're going to make an example. Example, $25,000. Yeah. yeah, which is nothing, by the wow. way, which is uh, more nothing. than they make a quarter in beer sales. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. And how much can ratings be affected by D'Angelo? Who cares? Well, first of all, this game was on NBA TV. Gene, I know you're uh, you're glued to uh, the Big Ten Network, but uh, do you get NBA TV? I don't even know. I know I get the MLB TV. I don't get the NFL Network anymore. Boo hoo. Uh, I don't know. I I don't even know if I get that one. Mm. Gene, I didn't realize the Timberwolves and uh, the Denver Nuggets was must see TV on (laughs) NBA TV. (laughs) I, I did not realize. I, I I don't watch the NBA too much. Right. I didn't realize the Minnesota Timberwolves were the new '96 Bulls. I, wow. Okay. Good reference. Is that accurate? Is that when they're in their heyday? Well, did, yeah, that's the one they won uh, 70 games, 72 oh, okay. games. Wasn't okay. that not? Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Gene. Yes. I wouldn't watch this game if uh, Kevin Garnett killed Camilla Anthony for ritual sacrifice <laughs> to the ghost of David Stern. That's how little I care. Wow. A lot, of, a lot of references. Yeah, right that's. There. Uh, I was like, let me think of a Minnesota player. Okay, <laughs> Kevin Garnett. That's good. That's good. Let me think of a uh, Denver Nugget player. Uh, right. I mean, I guess. Car- or Mc- How about this? Oh, Carmelo. Th- yeah, Wendy. N- N- Nikim made the Matumbo. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that's good. Oh, why don't you? Jack Sigma. Oh, he played for Seattle. Y- Gene, oh. you know what uh, Matumbo is doing right now when uh, he read this? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Moving his, wagging his right, finger. Right. Wagging his finger. Yeah, right, back and forth, wagging. Good Lord. Yeah. Like, what's going on here? NBA. I, I can't say I've watched much NBA this year. Hey, this, hey, uh, what, what's this guy's name? The bald guy now that's leading the league? What's this guy's oh, name? David Adam Silverman? Silver. Adam Silver. Hey, uh, this ain't a plantation, Adam. 
Do it to the white I know, I know, I know. You want the uh, the best guy to be, uh, you know. Right. I don't even want to say it, Gene. I am. A I, I know what you. Guy. I know you want your best buck to be uh, working, but uh, the guy needs a rest. Yeah, that's right. And by the way, uh, how about you shorten the the, the 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 season, huh? How about that? Oh my God! Maybe this it, wouldn't be necessary it, if you didn't have 82 well, games. Well, that's up to the players, too. I wish they would. I, uh, baseball too. Gosh, they're so greedy. I mean, baseball starts in three weeks. Whew. Yeah. Who's gonna watch? I, well, I'll be watching baseball, but not you know, basketball is kind of tough. Yeah. All right. Um, and uh, Gene, we got more. Oh. Okay. We got more uh, hoop stories here. Oh. Wow, that's a lot for a sport we don't really seem to care too nope. much about. Well, Gene, I'll tell you oh, why I care Hart. about this. How's he doing? Because when you go after Giannis, that's when I care. Yanta Capupo. James Harden. Oh, that's right, he did. I who hope, is I a hope uh, player from the Houston Rockets yeah, team, how apparently? About getting to the, he's never been to the finals with the Rockets. Oh, I hope the Bucks stick it to him. Wasn't, it, wasn't he playing with uh, – st- no, he was playing with Durant, right? Yeah, and Westbrook. And he, he bounced, together. and he, he's like, I got to get out of here because I'm my own guy. Can you imagine? By the way, that team. Good oh Lord. Like, They're all young. Get, get Phil Jackson. That's the, probably the only man that could coach they that team. He never did anything. Mm-mm. Yeah. Because yeah. they got three, uh, three bulls there three trying to all uh, – to score points. Well, good drafting, right? Good drafting. Yeah, that's why uh, um, uh, Sam Presti gets the big bucks. Anyways, uh, was um, interviewed for some rag, probably ESPN or something like that. Uh, yeah. And he was asked about uh, Giannis, um, the Milwaukee Buck uh, the superstar. Oh. He said, uh, "I wish I could be. I, I wish I could just run, be seven feet." And, wait, wait, here we go. <laughs> All right, well, this guy wasn't the most eloquent person, Gene, right. so uh, I got to— Think about what you're saying there, Harden, before you rip Giannis. I wish I could just yeah, run, little, be seven feet right and now. run and just right. dunk. Mm-hmm. Like, that takes no skill at all. I got to actually learn how to play basketball, how to have skill. Mm. Take that, Giannis. Well, uh, uh, let me ask you something this, Gene. Yeah. You ever you ever play a uh, a basketball game at the gym or the Y or whatever? I, I played in school. And you got one of those guys that just like sweats a whole right. lot. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you know you kind of don't want to guard that guy because you don't want to touch this guy's sweat. Right. You know at the YMCA. Yeah. Yeah. You know this ain't the goddamn uh, NBA finals. Right. Dude's sweating. Gee, can you imagine playing against some guy with a sweaty beard? <laughs> I I didn't. I played. Would you Would you want to go anywhere near that guy? Uh, no. My 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 basketball career ended after the seventh grade, uh, which yeah, I I I played that year and then uh, for St. Anthony's, but nobody nobody had a sweaty beard except for uh, our Lord Savior Jesus too, because I was in Catholic school back then. Right. No, I don't um, think I would. No, no, Chris. Thank you for asking <laughs> that. That's very considerate of you. Well, Gene, you know, this guy's all about those triple doubles, right? Right. H- how many assists does his beard have? Uh, Who's going to guard a guy with a giant sweaty beard? Uh, I'm not, I don't know. And, uh, and also, Gene, wh- why is everyone all of a sudden on uh, Giannis' nuts, by the way? Leave him be. Leave him be. Let I mean, he him. plays. You're right. Play, he plays in Milwaukee, for God's sakes. Oh I mean, these God. guys are so jealous of him. Oh, man. He plays in Milwaukee. Oh, I hope they win. It would be so great. Just stick it. I hope. I hope Milwaukee wins the title, and Giannis just stays in Milwaukee. <laughs> you guys can't get. Don't. Yeah, let's don't, get him some more endorsements so he doesn't I, need a big contract. I, it's going to be so hard. I think for Milwaukee, even just no pay him. Gian, yeah, just pay well, him. They, they'll offer him. Uh, you know, there's only so much you can pay him. But yeah, stay. Please, Giannis, stay. All right. Um. Dirty by the way. Green. By the way, uh. J- Forty years later, no, it's like fifty yeah. years now, right? Fifty yeah, years they later, won the we're title still with Kareem, Luol, seventy-three, Kareem. right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we're we're about 50, th- 50 Let's years. Let's go. 47. Let's win again. That'd be great. All right. Uh, and by the way, uh, James uh, Harden, w- what are you trying to hide? Mm. All these guys with these giant beards, hide, trying to hide something. You can't can't hide from me. Ooh. You can't hide from the Midwest Sports Show. Chris is coming after you. 
I can see through it. Yeah. yeah. I can see through it. I don't think. Oh, well, whatever. I don't care. I'm not. I'm all right. I just, do just care who. Hey, wins listen. Keep, keep keep his name out of your mouth. All right. Yeah, you, that's you right. You worry about. We're gonna win. We're, you, you, I, I'm gonna. Oh man. I hope you worry about doing your little shimmy at the three point line, and then. Uh, by the way, the, you're learning how to do that. You learn. You're you're learning how to play basketball like that. Mm. Pretty sure that wasn't part of Naismith's <laughs> game plan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, Gene, we're going to move on to the NFL. All right. See, Gene, this is why we don't cover the NBA. It just makes me just okay. yeah, a bunch of babies. I am, I am though, this year I'm really interested because I want Mock and Wentz. It's a horrible product. Yeah. None of these games are entertaining. Mm. I mean, I didn't watch the All-Star game, but uh, apparently people enjoy that. It wasn't even anywhere near a regular NBA game. Right. That's why I was right. better. Okay. All right, Gene, uh, we're going to talk about the NFL. And uh, Wisconsin-born Tony Romo. Menominee? No, Burlington. Burlington. Oh. Wisconsin. That's how is he not and he wasn't recruited by the Badgers, was he? Uh no. Well Gene uh, he he had possessed, Gene. You he know? went to eastern Illinois. So. He a little bit too he was a little bit too uh showy. Wow, he's so awesome. We don't like guys that can throw the ball fifteen yards. Okay. Yeah. We're we're yeah. good with eight and then uh punt. What a huge what a great success story. Well, he signed a long term deal uh, to stay with CBS. Uh, apparently it's eighteen million dollars a year. Did you see what uh, Troy's making? Troy only I makes seven was. and a half, six and a half. They said six and a half to seven and a half. Well, it's not. He's basically getting paid a million dollars per game. That's amazing. But good. And for him. Uh, I mean, he's good. He's entertaining. Yeah, but he's I mean, great. are people ever like, uh, I'm gonna watch this game because uh, Tony Romo? Uh, you know what? I think I've actually have have said that actually. Yeah. Well, I think did I, he do the Super Bowl this year? Or no, Troy nah, did. it was. Uh, well, I, I, yes, when fine. he's broadcasting a game, I'll say that when Tony Romo, I am tempted to turn the sound on, but I, I haven't for a couple years. But I have heard him in the past. But yeah, good for him. Well, they're probably trying to keep him away from like ESPN. But yeah. I mean, again, are people? Gee, are you going to get cable again to get ESPN? No, I already get it. But you get ESPN. YouTube but TV. But you can watch NFL games though, no, right? No, you just watch a game. You're not. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get uh, ESPN. Mm -hmm. So you get Monday Night Football on your phone? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I'll be able to watch it. All right. Good job, Tony. Yeah, good job. Congrats. He's making a lot of money. Yeah. Both of the, He made a lot as a player, too. So. Well, they're saying that the most he ever played or most he ever got paid a year was like 17. That so, seems like a uh, lot because he's been retired a few years. But, yeah, good for him. Probably took him a while to get that contract. I don't know who's going to – there's no way they're bringing back that that um, uh, crew to ESPN. So we'll see what they do there. Right, Monday All Monday. right. Well, another thing we will see is the Bears, Wow. what they're going to do. On the off season, oh, they're so desperate. And uh, apparently, they've been speaking to the Bengals, the Cincinnati Bengals, about uh, trading for Andy Dalton. Oh my gosh, Gene! Uh, the mm. Chicago Bears are so bad; they're looking at Bengals cute quarterbacks. <laughs> I don't know. First off, they don't have the money to pay him because they got other needs, and they, they can't. They don't have a first round pick. They gave it to the Ray. They got a wow. I don't know. But they're desperate because I think Dalton probably has a pretty big contract right now, yeah, right? 18, so if they took it off, twenty his million, hands. somewhere around there, somewhere around twenty. Dal Dalton for uh, Trubisky, straight up. Yes, definitely. You probably get maybe three years of Andy Dalton left. Well, maybe two. Yeah, I'd do it for sure, but <laughs> I don't think. Why? I don't know if it makes sense. Well, uh, Gene, uh, I mean, if they're looking at uh, Cincinnati quarterbacks, how about Boomer Esiason? Huh? Is there he's you go. Let me ask you that. Could he, can he thrive under Matt Nagy's system? Yeah. All you got to do is throw the ball four yards and hand it off. That's right. How about Kenny Anderson? That was the other one. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'm trying man. to think of another. How about uh, Anderson. Akilah Smith? Huh? Oh, that, wow. Oregon player. That's a deep cut. Yeah, that's way that's too That's only because my friend was a Bengals fan in uh, middle school. And, I, think, uh, I, think I think he got a jersey. Really desperate. I think they know they got uh, kind of a disaster on their hands, so we'll see. Yeah. Gene, we discussed this. We said, is this going to set the Bears back five years? And uh, pretty much looks like they did. It, it already has. I mean, instead of being in the Super Bowl or being <laughs> a contender, 
I think uh, they got lucky with an easy schedule last year or two years ago. Uh, that's they, why they're twelve uh, and three. If you oh, by the way, Aaron Rodgers was hurt too. Yeah, I mean, if you have the number two pick and you blow it or you mess it up, you're done for a long time because it's so. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna go to. Uh, I guess we're gonna talk about Tom Brady. Doesn't sound like anybody. W- where. Tom Brady, what? Where? I don't know what the market is. Paul. Tom Brady is expected free agency is expected mm. not to close a deal with the Patriots to come back. How about uh, Mitch Trubisky for Tom Brady? Would you do that? Uh, oh. oh, yeah, you would for sure. Okay. I think the Bears have a pretty good shot, actually, because, you know, he wants to play for a contender with a good defense. I don't know. Do the Bears have a good no, offensive but line? The prom- no, and they don't have money to pay him. If they pay him, then they can't pay anyone. And he's only know. making seventeen, right? Seventeen million because he has a he pretty w- low he contract. He wants a two-year. Uh, no, Brady like wants 50 a million? huge contract, thirty million per year for two years. Oh my god! He wants a huge deal. I, the Bears don't have money. What are you talking about? They well, have, they got they're they, they're kind of no, they're pushed up against the salary cap. They don't have a lot of room. They're paying Cleo Mack all just, that money. Just cut everyone. I, cut everyone what, that well, bring Brady been in. Doing the, yeah. Mm. And they got to fill a lot. I don't know. Who am I? I'm not a GM. But, no, but yeah, Brady, whatever. We, we, I don't know. He's, he can stay in New England. F him. All right. He might go to uh, San Diego. Maybe. Yeah, now that makes sense because San Diego could win, I think. Yeah. Or That's the possible. Raiders, I guess. Oh. <laughs> if they could survive under Gruden. They might kill each other. Yeah, it's possible. All right, yeah. all right, and then Gina, we're gonna talk. Oops, wrong. All right, we're gonna talk about the uh, collective uh, bargaining agreement. These guys, they're gonna. The players have not ratified the new. Uh, well, CBA. they're voting this week, don't they? I yeah, I guess. I guess it's coming up pretty soon. I guess. Yeah. Uh, but uh, a couple people have gone out against it, including J.J. Watt. The big guys who have gotten paid have come out against yeah, it, but yeah. Including uh, Aaron Rodgers. Yes. Yeah. And good for Aaron Rodgers. All the, but he was one of the bigger objectors last night for sources. Rodgers wanted even more dramatic changes to the offseason program that included more free time for the players. Mm. Well, I'm all for that. I'm all for they're the good. players, but they're not going to. They're, uh, they're, they're not going to turn this down, are they? I don't think. Well, they got another year left, so uh, the uh, they actually I think they have pretty good leverage because the league is trying to negotiate with um, what do you call it the, the network. Their their guys have already their their union re- have already signed off on it. The NFL the right the big wigs who negotiate said take it to a vote. Well, yeah, but they negotiated, but then this was kind of like a f- you know, this was kind of like the first offer or something like that. So. Yeah. And also, like uh, I read that, like the well, I guess the minimum would be one million per game, or mm-hmm. something like that. Um, but there, but Gene, regardless, the whole point of that story is uh, Aaron Rodgers is a uh, hero for the pe- the little guy. I love that the he guy is, in the trenches. I know. Hey, when you're a little guy and and this might be your only contract, or only chance to make money, yeah, um, y- you're not going to sit out a year, but. C- Good for Aaron Rodgers. You want the big guys? Of course, they've already got their money. They don't want to, but but you say sign it, right? Well, no, I I think they will. Yeah, but you you you're telling them they should sign. Uh, just be happy. Just be happy you have a job. No, I'm not <laughs> saying that. But I didn't negotiate for. Didn't the guys that negotiated <laughs> the contract recommend it? Yeah, that's true. It, I guess right. S- they signed off on it. Well, hire better reps. No, I. Uh, I I got well. I think they're like this is the best we could do like right now. I think that's the whole point. Yeah. So. Mm. Um, all right. Well, they'll probably. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I think the the players would probably take it longer. I think they'll probably take it until the uh to the very last minute. But then uh, I don't I think, think the think next season will be right. Right. Uh, chip But the owners are gonna want some answers right away because they're trying to negotiate new deals, contracts. So. Yep. So they yeah. uh the players actually have an advantage. So. Mm, oh, maybe. Okay. They can hold off. Uh, yeah, they hold got another, off, they got another what am season. I saying, players? Hold off. <laughs> you deserve everything you get. That's r- that's for sure. That's for sure. Yep. Or you can bargain for, yeah. I guess, I suppose. All right, Gene, uh, another show in the books. Awesome. 
This is Super Monday because tomorrow's Super Tuesday. Even though this year you could vote early, I I waited till I I like voting on the day. I guess more traditional, right? Well, Gene, you don't get that sticker that says I voted oh, when you mail I know. it in. Oh, in in California now you don't go into a poll. You don't do that. The old system, you vote on like an iPad thing. Yeah, you go into your uh, nearest Apple store. Yeah, basically. And you get in the queue, and then oh, uh, you get 10% off uh, oh, any man. Mac purchase that day. Yeah. Uh, but, yes, uh, it will be Super Tuesday for a, a bunch of states. Um, I do not believe it's – well, Minnesota, right, I believe, actually oh. has a uh, vote. Oh, I don't know. They're, oh, maybe. Yeah. Because I think uh, Amy Kublachar or oh, whatever. She's um, gone. Even though she – ducked out but i think the whole point was to win minnesota uh, but yeah i will be voting california will be voting me too and uh, uh i'm gonna sleep on it one more night and then <laughs> tomorrow i hope i get divine invention to who to vote for kind of winding down we've lost some candidates that's for sure so mm. yep should be a very exciting yeah and uh we'll see what happens all right. Well, uh, I think that's uh, going to be just about it. Yeah. Stay healthy. I guess from now, from the Surgeon General, we, we found out no more handshakes. It, wash you your hands. No, Wash your hands. Don't wear surgical masks. Uh, just elbow bumps from now on, right? Did you see that was his new thing? Not uh, even is that what they bumps. said? Yeah. He goes, do, do one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Our world is right. changing. How, how do you fuck chicks? Did, did, <laughs> she, did he explain that? Wow. I don't I you, don't. You put your elbow up uh, upper. Wow. I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear him mention that. But I, I'll get back to you on that one. But the elbow bump like that. Ah, there you go. Hey, how right. are you? It's good seeing Gina, you again. Gina, I I'm, think I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm going to take a break from the Are you going to? I haven't. Uh, since the, the Surgeon General said it, I haven't shook anyone's hand. So maybe I'll. Yeah, I'll shake. You just gotta just wash your hands. Yeah, wash, wash your hands. hands. Don't touch your face. Right, you should right. be good. All right. So uh, for Gene Steichen, uh, oh, next week I will, will be Big Ten. Yeah. Is this gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to go. That'd be so awesome. All right, there you go. All yeah, right. that would be awesome. Hey, that uh. Th that is uh, 